Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Withered Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. As usual, I'm going to start up in the face area. We're going to start with the nose. So starting on the left, we're going to draw a curve going up to the top of the nose and back down on the right side. From here, I'm going to curve up and down towards the center. And then I'm going to round out that center point and then curve up and then down on the right side. Let's go ahead and color all this in black. From here, we're going to draw just the edge of the frontal muzzle. So just on the side on the left here, I'm going to draw a curve going down. On the right, we'll do the same thing, just flipped over. From here, we're going to round out those corners and come down to the center point. So curving around, up, and then down. We're going to round out the tip, go up, and then down, and round out the corner on the right side. From here, let's go up a little bit and just flare out the sides. So from here on the left, I'm going to curve out and up. On the right we'll do the same thing. From here we're going to round out and curve in towards the nose. So rounding out, curving in towards the nose, round out and curve in towards the nose on the right. Now we're going to come up to the peak on just the top part of the nose area. So rounding out, up, down on the right side and just rounding and smoothing that out there. Okay, so we've got the frontal muzzle area of the face. Let's get into the eyes. So we're going to draw the eye patch first here. So the eye patch just comes around and just touches this inner part of the face here. So on the left side, I'm just going to curve right into that muzzle area. Up here, I'm going to curve up. Let's connect those two points with a curve going up and then back down. And we'll color this area in black. Now if at any point in this video I'm going a little bit too fast for you, you can always pause the video, get caught up and start up again. Okay, so we got the eye patch. Let's go into the eye on the right side. So here I'm just going to basically draw a circle. Starting on the inside of the nose area, I'm going to curve up and come right into that muzzle. From here I'm just going to make the bottom edge a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to go around and just thicken it up a little bit to make the eyeball look like it's sort of hanging up on the upper edge there. Let's draw on the upper eyelid. So on the inner part here, I'm just going to draw a curve going up and then down on the right side. Here, let's, let's just draw in the uh, iris and pupil. So here, we're just going to draw a circle. And then in the center here, I'm just going to draw a black dot. Let's go ahead and draw the connector between the eye patch and the eye. So in between, I'm just going to draw a straight line across. And I'm just going to thicken this up to make it look like a little black band going across there. Okay, from here, let's get into the sides of the cheeks. So from these corners, from these points here, I'm going to curve to the outside. So I'm going to bring these quite wide. So right here, I'm just going to curve down and right in to the side of that muzzle. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So curving down and back up. Up here, we're going to come up to the top of the head, but on the side here, above this eye, it's all cracked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, and I'm just going to stop at the very top. So from here, on this point, I'm going to curve in towards the eye patch, round out, and then go up to the top. From here, I'm just going to extend this just a little bit further, so it's almost directly above the right eye. And then all the way down here, I'm just going to crack the line. So I'm just going to break it all up with a wiggly line going down. On this side here, I'm going to bring this up just like I did on this side. So just measuring the distance from the eye to the side of the head. Right about here, I'm just going to curve into that point. And then from here, I'm just going to crack the line straight across. Let's go ahead and draw some hairs on the top of the head. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve going up to the left. I'm just going to thicken that up and just bring it back down. So it's sort of tapered. We go up to the right, make that pointy on the tip. Draw one more here, that, and you can draw one more here if you'd like, just across like that. Let's draw the, uh, the connector on this side. So I'm just going to draw the line straight across, and then make it twice as thick, and just color that in black. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of crack detail. So up along here, I'm just going to draw a little wiggly line, close that off, and color that in black. Under here, I'm going to probably do something similar to just a little crack along the bottom there. And let's get into the ears. So up here, I'm going to draw an ear poking out this way. And it basically looks almost like a raindrop headed towards the head. Uh, so up here, I'm going to aim up to this point. So I'm going to draw a point right there. From here, I'm just going to circle around and back up to the top again. So coming down towards the head, rounding out. So I'm not touching the head there. I'm giving a little bit of space and then back up to the top. So this gap here, I'm just going to connect it with two lines. Let's go ahead and trace this outer edge in the inside, so it's got some thickness all the way around. 
just like that. Okay, now we're gonna have to draw the ear on this side, but this one's mechanical, it doesn't have any uh, flesh on it. So let's draw in the connector for that. So uh, just above the right eye, I'm gonna go up two lines, connect those two points with a curve. We're gonna go up on the top here and just go in an angle for two lines going across. So it's not directly straight across, it's sort of in an angle like this. Here I'm just gonna intersect this with a line going straight across. From here I'm gonna do similar to what I did here, I'm gonna go up to a point at the tip of the ear, so going up like this and right about there. From here on the top, I'm gonna to curve up and then right into that point along the bottom, I'll do the opposite direction. And here, we're gonna do a similar thing here, we're gonna just trace the outer edge on the inside. Just with even spaced lines all the way across. And we're gonna draw three little bars on the inside here. So right at the base, draw two thin lines across in the middle here and then at the top. Now if you'd like, you can add a little bit of inner detail in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, make it look like there's some thickness here. So up at the top here, I'm gonna wave the line in behind that bar and then back down again. And I'm just gonna color the inside part in black. Now it doesn't have to be exactly the way that I drew. You can make your lines a little bit wavier if you like. If you want, you can add some more cracks. There, so there's the top of the head. Let's get into the lower jaw. So down here, I want the bottom of the lip to come down pretty low here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right on the side here of the face. I'm gonna curve out and then come in. On the right side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So out and then come back in. And then I'm gonna reverse the curve. I'm gonna come straight down and then round out the bottom. Up here, I'm gonna come back up and just connect with the side there. So this is the inner part of the mouth. Let's do the outer side. So up here, I'm just basically gonna just trace that inner part of the mouth all the way around so it's even in terms of thickness all the way around there. Let's draw in the upper row of teeth. So just along here, you can draw as many as you like, I'm just going to draw a few. So on the side here, I'm just going to draw some jagged teeth coming down. So three on each side, just to even it out. And maybe I'll do one more on the ends here. Okay, so we got rows of teeth, and they basically look like just long V's that go across. We're gonna draw some teeth along the bottom here. So I'm just gonna start in the middle with two fangs, and I'm just gonna work my way along the right, just zigzagging two lines, going up and down, go up and down all the way across, like that. And I know that there's a row of teeth on the inside, so like flatter teeth on the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this quite simple. I'm gonna start on the left side, curve to the right, I'm going to go up on the sides here. So this is just the frame. I'm going to make this twice as thick, so I'm just tracing around and back up. And I'm just going to draw little curves all the way across, as many as I can fit. And on the inside here, I'm just going to color that all in black. So let's start with the inside part here. I'm going to be careful not to color in the actual teeth. I'm just finding the empty spaces in between the teeth and the metal. Okay, so we got the face all pretty much done. Let's get into the body. So we're gonna start with the shoulders, the upper parts of the shoulders. So I'm gonna bring this down to right about the jawline here. So on either side, I'm just gonna draw a curve going across on either side. Now I know that there's a break just on the upper side of the shoulder, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these curves down on both sides, equal, equal length. On the top here, I'm just gonna crack a line going right into that head. We're gonna bring this back down here and just open it up like that, right across. So there's a big opening there. On this side, I'm just gonna draw a little crack going across like so. From here, we're gonna bring this down to the waist. Now the waist has some broken edges along it, so here, I'm gonna curve in and down on the left and right side. And along this bottom, I'm just basically gonna connect this, but I'm gonna do a bunch of like wavy lines that go up and down, all the way across. It could be various lengths, it doesn't have to be all the same. It actually looks better if it's like very, somewhat longer, somewhat shorter. Let's draw in some body detail. So there's a patch in the center of the chest so right on the side here, I'm just gonna draw a straight line going down here. On this side, I wanna make sure that the length or the, the width here is the same. I'm gonna go up 
I'm just going to tuck this in underneath that chin. Let's get into the lower body. So here, there's the opening here. You're going to see the spine going into the lower torso. So what I want to do is I want to start with the outer front part of the lower torso. So I'm going to draw a curve from left to right. Let's draw in that spine that goes down here. So I'm just going to keep this quite simple. So I want this to come down the middle. So I'm going to start with a line across the middle like that. From here, I'm going to angle two lines going out and connect that with a line going across. Now, I'm, I'm, you can see that I've tucked that in behind that upper uh, flap here. So on the ends, I'm just going to drag these right up and tuck that in underneath the upper torso. From here, I'm just going to draw a really long sort of rectangle like that. And then underneath here, there's two lines coming down just to finish off the spine. Now, I want to make this look like it's actually going into the lower torso. So on the ends here, I'm just going to come in just a little bit and curve this behind the spine on both sides. So you see there's an overlap there. I'm going to color the inside in black. Now to make it look like there's some thickness to this, I'm just going to go on the outside and just trace the back end like that. So it kind of goes around. On the hips, I'm going to curve and round out the hips like this. From here, let's come down to the lower area here. So here, I'm basically going to curve these in towards my finger. Two curves. And I'm just going to flatten out and round out the bottom, just connecting those two points. Let's get into the legs. So down here, i got one thigh. Let's start from this point, from the hip to this inner curve. I'm going to come down, just to sort of where the knee area would be. Here, I'm just going to curve in the opposite direction, like that. And along here, I'm just going to crack this detail, so I'm just going to do some wavy lines. Again, it doesn't have to match exactly how I did it. I'm going to draw a little wavy curve there, and fill that in, and make it look like there's a hole in the leg. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting on the end, I'm going to curve down to where the knee would be. So just like this. On the inner side, let's go in the opposite direction, and just crack this line all the way across. Let's put one little hole here as well. Okay, let's go back to this leg here on the left. Now this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky because there's a, a shin bone that comes down. There's a bunch of little plates that go across there. So there's going to be a lot of overlapping here. Let's start with the knee. I'm just going to draw a basic circle right in the knee area here. From this, I'm going to draw a pole going into the leg. So I want to do two lines just tucked in underneath that leg aimed in that same direction as the leg here. Now I'm going to take this kneecap. I'm going to draw the shin bone all the way down to the foot. So right where my finger is, along the way there's four plates that are sort of spaced up evenly across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the bar first. Two short lines coming down. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve. Now I'm going to circle around this bone with an oval. So you can see it's tucked in behind that bar. On either end, I'm going to drag two short lines coming down. I'm going to curve and round this out. Now uh, basically all you have to do is repeat exactly that all the way down four times. So imagine this bar coming down, so two lines connecting with a round curve, and then drawing that oval in behind. And again, dragging down those two points and connecting it with a curve. Just repeat that all the way down. I'm just going to do this a little bit quicker. And one last one down here. Again, you want to sort of make sure you're lining these line, these bars up as you're going down. And on the edge of the ovals, again, you want to sort of try to line it all up along the sides, on both sides. Coming down and then finishing it off, the final one there. Okay, so before I get into the foot, I'm going to draw a little bit of detail behind this leg. I want to make it look like this bar is going right in the leg, so I'm going to draw the back side of the thigh. So here I'm just going to draw a crack line in the back, fill that in black. Okay, so let's get into the foot. I'm, with this foot, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to draw three bars coming down from this, um, this disc here. So two lines, two lines, two lines, just beside each other. Close it off with a straight line across the bottom. Now we're going to draw the top part of this ankle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the foot coming this way. So a little bit of perspective, I'm going to draw an angled line like this. I'm going to take those points and just drag them behind like this and take that point and just drag it in behind that disc there. So it almost looks like a diamond shape. From here let's take the heel and drop it down. 
from here, I'm going to drop down just a little bit. On the back here, I'll drop down a little bit. Now I'm going to connect those two points with a straight line. And I'm going to take these points again and I'm going to drag them out in an angle just like this angle here to the front of the foot. Now I'm going to take that, connect it with a straight line, again matching this line here. On the front corner, I'm going to pull this down and connect that to the back of the foot. Along here there's a little bit of detail, there's two little discs, so I'm just going to draw two simple circles side by side. If you want, there's some wires that stick out here, so I'm just going to draw just a few little curves along that seam there, along that edge. Let's get into some very simple toes. So from here, I'm going to go across in an angle, so you can follow that same line here, that same angle, going across the front of the toe, and then from here I'm just going to curve up and then down. Let's go across here, across, curve, and then down. So you can see I'm doing a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to go across, curving over and just behind. From this corner, I'm going to pull that down. From this corner, I'm going to pull it across. So you see that these toes are stuck into the foot that way. Let's take that exact same foot and draw it on this side. So starting with the kneecap, I'm going to draw a circle and then that bone. So two lines going right into that leg. I'll draw the back side of the thigh with some curves and color that in black. Okay, now from here we're just going to repeat exactly what we did here on this side, making sure we come down to the same height on the last disc. So again, two lines connecting with the curve and drawing the oval for the top of the disc two lines coming down on the side, and then connecting with a curve. Let's just repeat that. Now if I'm going too fast here, you can always pause the video and get caught up and just see exactly what I'm doing here. It's just repet repetition. I'm doing the exact same thing four times over, all the way down. Again, making sure that this bar is straight. And I've got the edges of these discs lined up as much as I can on both sides so I don't end up with like really wide discs and really small ones. Connecting that there. Now let's draw those three bars along the bottom. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Just draw a line across the bottom just to connect it. Now we're going to draw that front edge of the top of the foot first. So going across, an angle in the back, tucked in behind the disc and right in the back there. Let's draw the back of the heel, so coming down on the back. Up here, there's two short lines coming down, connecting it with a line. We'll come in the front of the foot with two straight lines. Make this one a little bit longer. Connect that, come down on the front, and then connecting with the angled line. Let's draw a couple of wires. Let's draw those two discs in the back here, so on the ankle, this. Now the simplified toes, starting at the front, going out, across the front, just going to curve it around up the top of the toe. Here we're going to go across, tuck this in behind the first toe, and one final one, that, from here pulling that down, going across in the front. Okay, so very simple feet. Let's get into the arm. So here I'm going to have the arm coming down to the elbow, up into the hook. Now because this forearm and the hook are kind of be drawn on top of the upper arm, I'm going to have to draw this in first. So if I imagine the shoulder here coming down to the elbow here, I want this hook coming up this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the hook first. So imagine the forearm coming up. Let's start at the tip of the hook and curve around and then down. This is almost like a backwards question mark. From here, I'm just going to start with it at the same point of the tip and then just start to thicken up as I come around into the base. From here, I'm just going to round this out. I'm going to draw a disc, sort of similar to how I did here on the leg. Start in the back, so coming up a little bit, drawing an oval behind that hook, come down on two sides, and then connect it with a curve. From here, I'm going to draw a larger oval behind here. So this is the socket into the forearm. I'm going to color all this in black. Now from here, let's draw on the forearm. So I'm going to draw two curves coming down towards the elbow. So from the left side here, I'm going to curve out and then in. On the right side, I'll curve out 
and then in. Connect those two points with a curve, just like this. Now we're going to draw in the upper arm. So this is going to get tucked in behind this forearm. So you're just going to see a little bit of the top. So from here, I'm just going to round out the top of the upper arm. From here, I'm going to curve into that forearm. From the bottom, I'll curve into that forearm. Let's open this arm up a little bit. So we're just going to draw big cracks and just a wavy line all the way around. And then draw some bars. So two lines side by side and a bit of a curve up here. And I'll just draw the edge of one. And then cover, color the inner part in black. So leaving those bars exposed. From here I'm going to draw a shoulder joint. So I'm going to have to draw a, almost like a circle in behind everything here. So starting up here I'm going to curve behind the chest in like this. From here I'm going to draw a bar just going straight into the middle of the body. Two lines just tucked in like that. Now we're going to go ahead and color this inner part in black. Okay, so we got that. Let's draw a little crack here. So I'm just going to draw another wavy line, color that in black just to show a hole in the arm. Let's go to, actually before I get into that arm, I just want to draw in some of the back part of the upper torso. So similar to what I do with the leg, I'm going to start up here and just draw a wavy line in behind the front part of the body. Go ahead and color all that in black. Make sure that you don't color in the spine. Just like that. Okay, so we got that. Let's get into this arm. I'm going to draw the top part of the upper arm first. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Let's come down on either side towards the elbow, which would be located right here. So curving in, so going out on the right side and back in. So it gets tapered in tighter and connecting those two points with a curve. I'm going to draw a big crack in this upper arm. So just a huge wavy line like this. And I'm going to draw some bars like I did on this side across the arm. So curving two lines beside each other, across here, let's draw one more there. And then along the back inside, I'm going to draw a bar. So one side is going to continue in behind these lines. I'm going to draw that same thing so it looks like a wider bar coming down. Let's color the inner part black. So we're not coloring in the bars, we're just coloring the negative space. this. Let's draw in that shoulder joint, so just a sphere. So it gets tucked in behind the arm, and we're going to go straight across two lines, just like how we did here. Probably start up here, go across there. I'm going to draw in just the back side, so I'm just going to draw a little wave like that, color the inner part in black. Probably up here I'll just fill that in as well. Let's draw in the final part, the forearm here. So from this point I'm going to draw the inner part, so you can actually see, like I did over here, the inside of the forearm. So there, I'm going to draw a half circle for the joint, and then I'm just going to draw two lines coming out into the upper arm. Let's take this point and just drag those curves in and color them black. Let's go down to the wrist. So here, I'm going to draw the wrist right about here. Let's take this point, curve out and in. Here we'll curve out and in. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve, but along the way I'm just going to draw a crack like that. Let's go ahead and draw some more holes in the arm. Now from here, I'm going to draw a very simplified hand. So I'm going to start with the wrist joint. So here I'm just going to draw almost like a circle just tucked in under the arm. I'm going to color in the inside just there just to fill it up. Now from here, I'm going to take this point here and just curve to the thumb area. From the thumb area, I'm just going to draw a little socket like that. From here, I'm going to come down the hand and go across, and I'm going to go straight into the wrist and then just pull that in like that. Okay, so that's the hand. Let's get into the fingers. So from here, I'm going to draw two lines coming out for the thumb. I'm going to draw a circle for the joint. Now, this is a very simplified hand. From here, I'm going to draw two lines coming down. So I'm changing direction a little bit. Draw a circle for a joint. And at the tip, I'm just going to draw a little claw like that, just a point. Let's draw in some fingers here. So at the end here, I'm going to draw two lines coming down. 
circle for the joint, and I'm changing directions. I'm coming down this way now. So two lines, circle, and then a pointed claw. I'm going to layer in all these fingers, so four fingers across and behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line on one side, and then tuck in the joint in behind like that. Come down at an angle, another finger there, and then a claw point. So going to the side again, right here, I'm going to have to draw that circle joint, so I'm just tucking this in behind that circle. Over here, coming down at an angle, draw another circle there, and coming to a point. And then final one, line, circle, line, circle, and then a point. And I think that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Withered Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please make sure you check out our FNAF playlist. I have a ton of characters in there. And make sure you share this with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.